Lauren Santo Domingo's Alaya Met Gala dress puts a modern spin on the Gilded Age. When it comes to the Met Gala, Lauren Santo Domingo is a seasoned pro. The Moda Operandi founder attended her first Met all the way back in 2002, when she was an assistant at Vogue. Twenty years later, and having been a co-chair of the event for 2013's Punk. Chaos to Couture, Exhibition, Santo Domingo still values the night's illustrious history. This year's dress code of gilded glamour was perfect for Santo Domingo. It makes sense, then, that when it came to conceiving her dress, she enlisted the help of Peter Moulaire at Alaya, whose work at the house since joining last year has offered a masterclass in taking the codes of a heritage house and updating them for the present day. The dress itself, meanwhile, was inspired by an image of Azadine Alaya fitting a white corset on a model from 1992, with Santo Domingo sending inspiration images of corsets, bustiers, and lace, but, all modern in their way, she adds. My inspirations were every Edith Wharton novel I have ever read, as well as Edith herself. Santo Domingo cites Wharton's comedy of manners The Custom of the Country as one of her all-time favorite novels. Featuring a sleek halter neck, a signature Alaya corseted bodice, and a dramatic ruffled knit skirt, the dress more than fulfilled Santo Domingo's vision of a modern American woman. She notes that she tried to stay true to the period the exhibition is celebrating, while also providing a sleeker take on some of that era's more extravagant sartorial flights of fancy. In other words, it helps narrow my focus, she adds. As a Met Gala veteran, Santo Domingo now has her getting ready prepped down to a fine art. She spent the afternoon at her Gramercy Park townhouse with her husband, Andres, and her two children, who she notes, half-jokingly, are her harshest critics when it comes to style. If I have to take a day off, I prefer to take off Tuesday to rest versus all of Monday to get ready. Still, it's clear that for Santo Domingo, the greatest joy of all is being able to celebrate the Costume Institute, and all of the work they do to honor the role that clothing plays in preserving history. Here, go behind the scenes with Santo Domingo as she gets ready for this year's Met Gala.